My devilfish design concept is heavily inspired by Native American art, specifically Alaskan Native American art and Native American culture in general. Um, so I'll start with the fog woman. I wanted to keep the entire design concept very close to what the script um, entailed with the playwright um, has put in there. So I kept the salmon robe that was depicted in the stage directions. Um, but overall, I wanted to make her look very otherworldly, um, very elegant. So for both the wolves, um, their costume is sort of like the Chinese dragons with the um, large piece over as almost like a sheet in a way and then a large mask that moves and um, has movable parts so you can have even more expression which um, Kashgun uh, does have a lot of expression um, but as you can see these symbols here that represent some of the block um, paintings and artwork um, same here with this a a markedly different coloring um, Tanatan, his wolf so Kuntz and Pungo, uh, mother daughter of the raven people and um, they have symbols on their clothing that depict what tribe they are from um, I chose green and blue, very earthy colors, and um, one of the symbols is of a raven's eye, as I found in my research with the Alaskan um, art. So, Antinatu, um, she and both Kuntz, I depicted them very young in my rendering, but um, there are ways throughout the play that they can change little pieces of their costume so they look a little bit older um, and to show time passing. So like this shawl can be wrapped around her waist or her shoulders in a way that makes her look older. Um, I chose purple for um, her people and her because um, first of all it reflects the um, devilfish in a way but also it um, is a little bit more royal. They are a wealthier uh, tribe. So therefore, I have both purple in the village dancers with the devilfish dance sequences, um, and then we have our silly mask boy. So the women dancers for um, the raven people, they both they have some of the same symbols and the greens and blues. Tanatan, um, I had the eagle people in more of reds and um, the terracotta-ish colors. Um, I kept a lot of fur with them since they are also wolf people, um, but I'd still put in symbols in some of their costumes of an eagle. Yinat, um, I kept the gray as a, to reflect his wolf character. I wanted to leave little hints, but not give away the fact that he is Kushigun. So then with Wakish, I combined both the browns and the grays um, in his fur coat. I wanted him to look very um, regal and in charge and very powerful. One of my favorites is the halibut dancer. Um, I wanted, I really did want it to look like a, really, a real fish was dancing on stage. And, um, but I wanted to still incorporate that artwork and that um, artsy feeling. So therefore I did the same thing with these three characters, with the snake and the bear and the raccoon. Um, just very, they, they almost look realistic, but also they have this um, story-ness to them. So then with the mother, I have um, just a simple motherly costume and some symbols that represent the devilfish. My devilfish! which I put on this different sort of paper um, that holds water a little bit better. Um, I have the reds and the purples, which surprised me as I chose those colors, um, but I really ended up liking what it was going for. And so these are the hoop dancers, um, which their dance will depict the movement of the arms of the devil fish and um, as they uh, wipe out an entire village.